Hey folks, there's been a big discovery in Maya archaeology. They found the tomb of the founder of Caracol's lineage in Belize. Now Caracol was a major player in the classic Maya period. It was one of the earliest of dynasties. It was allies with giant Tikal until it turned on them and joined Team Kalakmul, attacking Tikal by surprise with allies and creating what we call the Paten Wars for the next 150 years that raged around that jungle in northern Guatemala. So Caracol is a big player, and it's big news that they found the founder of its lineage. But... You know, the news, you can read those articles for yourself. So in this video, I'm going to tell you three things that are, from my perspective, things you might not know. Now, the first of them is how exciting this discovery is. To my knowledge, this is only the second time in over a hundred years of Maya archaeology that a tomb of a founding king has been found. I think I know what I'm talking about because I was part of the only other time that a tomb like that was found, and that was in Copan in the 1990s. When I was just in my 20s, I got to help excavate the tomb of Yashkuk Mo of Copan. Yashkuk Mo was the lineage founder of Copan, so this is a big deal. In all of the other Maya cities, we have never found the founder of a lineage. And this is important also because it validates what we read in the hieroglyphs. We know that this king in Karakol was crowned in 331. The hieroglyphs tell us that. And now that we found his tomb, this is one more piece of the puzzle that allows us to rely on these hieroglyphs. Some people want to say that they're just propaganda or mythology and they're not true. But when we find things that are in the historical hieroglyphic record, and then we find them for real in archaeology, it gives us faith that we know what we're talking about with the hieroglyphs. Now, the second thing that I want to bring up is the very important discovery that this king also had influences by Teotihuacan. In his grave were pottery that looks very Teotihuacan in style, Oh, another little side note that I loved was that one pot had a lid on top of it, and on top of the lid, the handle where you pulled it off, was a Kawatamundi head. Another thing we learned from the hieroglyphs is that the subsequent kings and queens of Karakol oftentimes called themselves part of the Kawatamundi lineage. That was one of their titles. So we see from the very first king that that Kawati was associated with the Karakol royal family. But this thing about Teotihuacan is very important because that grave was probably interred somewhere around 350, 360 CE, and that is way before our traditional understanding of when Teotihuacan got there. So this discovery actually backs up what Edwin Roman is finding in Tikal. So it's an exciting correlation between Tikal and Karakol, who were both allies, apparently both met Teotihuacan and were pulled into their sphere of influence. And then Kalakmul, who never shows any Teotihuacan influence, changes the mind of Karakol to attack Tikal, who is backed by Teotihuacan. So it's an important piece of the puzzle of what would become the Paten Wars and the role that Karakol plays in it. Now, number three, I want to give heartfelt congratulations to Diane and Arlen Chase, who made the discovery. The Chases have been working at Karakol since the 80s, tirelessly, 40 years of work at that site. We know so much because of their work. And they are dedicated archaeologists and good folks. They raised their children in those ruins. They've been there forever. But they have never made a discovery like this. And now, as their career is coming to an end, they are of retirement age now. And they're working tirelessly, too. Not only are they archaeologists that have kept with it, 
but at the University of Houston, both of them hold administrative positions. So they're teaching, they're excavating, and they're administrating. They're tireless folks, and they deserve this. This is the culmination of 40 years of investigation for them, and I couldn't be happier. Couldn't happen to nicer archaeologists. So congratulations to the Chases, and congratulations to all of us for knowing more about Kalakmul, Karakol, Tikal, and their involvement with the mighty city of Teotihuacan. Thanks for watching my video. If you like what I do, please consider supporting me through Patreon. YouTube's ad revenue model sucks. You have to put up with clicking through weird commercials, and creators always get a pittance of the actual revenue. So let's not do that. Patreon is really a much more direct way to support the kind of content that you value. For just five bucks a month, you can keep me in this chair instead of out there trying to make a living some other way. I am as cheap as a cup of coffee and considerably less bitter. My Patreon is actually linked to my podcast, ArcheoEd, which if you haven't heard that, you might like that too. But here's the link right here to my Patreon through ArcheoEd. I'll also put it in my show notes. Whatever you decide, thanks for watching. I appreciate you.